I think this is nature trying to tell me not to fish today. I'm still gonna probably upload this video and just call it like fishing fails or something. Yeah, but I've been complaining a lot in this video. I apologize for that. <laughs> I'm at the Minnesota River and it looks completely different from last year when I was fishing. The water level back then was around six feet or so, but right now it's clocking in around like 15 feet. I'm gonna scout the area and find a creek to fish out of. You might recognize this spot here when I was fishing last year. I shot most of my TikTok videos right there. But right now it's just full of water. So right below that pillar there, and it just goes like this, was basically ground. So it just, it curved around like this. And all of this right here, down here, there was a bunch of areas where you can walk and stuff. But right now, the water level is so high that, yeah, it's not even there anymore. And the boat launch, the water level is right there. Last year, it was all the way down here. <laughs> so I'm gonna head on over there to the creek and see if I can get any fish. I'm off the side of the river right now, and I'm gonna see if I can target some catfish or white bass right now. But I just have a bobber and a worm on my line right now. I'm gonna swap it out for a Carolina rig. I haven't done a Carolina rig since last year, so I'm gonna try to figure out if I remember how to do it correctly. <laughs> So from what I remember, a Carolina rig is, you have a swivel like this, and I put a leader on. So I'm gonna tie a leader on, and then I'm gonna tie the hook onto the other end of it. So I've got my swivel there. This end, I'm gonna add a treble hook like this. All right, so I have my treble hook, leader line, and swivel. All right, so on my main line, I'm gonna put my sinker on first, so like that. And then I'm gonna put a bead like this. So that way the weight doesn't hit up against the swivel. It prevents it from breaking the line and the knot. Now that the bead is on, you just put the main line to the swivel. All right, so the Carolina rig is set up. We're gonna pop on a worm, Canadian worm. I think something like this will work, right? I think something like that will work. Yeah, that looks good. It is so obnoxiously windy right now. I really hope that my mic isn't picking up all of the wind. <laughs> so I'm going to try to cast from here. Ah, oh, I keep getting snagged on stuff. There you go. The current is really strong right now too. And it's really windy. So my weight is getting dragged like crazy right now. I'm gonna reel in and check. Okay, I'm good still. So many trees here. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Ah, oh, I got caught in a tree. Ah, oh, just great. <laughs> so my hook and bait is up on a tree hanging right now, and then my weight is in the water. Yeah, this is not fun. Not fun at all. I just started too. <laughs> See, this is the frustrating part of fishing. There is my bait and my worm and my hook. It's tangled up right there and it's tangled up right there on that brand. I'm not that far away too. I should, might be able to take it down somehow. Oh, it's this tree right here that's connected to that. All right, so I might be able to take it down maybe. Oh, got it. I got it. <laughs> There you go, all right. I have my treble hook. All right, success. Oh, I think this is nature trying to tell me not to fish today. <laughs> all right, so I threw it, like I tossed it down and it swung back and it hit, it swung back and it hit right there and it's tangled up there now. Well, I guess this video isn't gonna be a fishing video. It's more of a attempt to fish and uh, get tangled up video. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I just broke the line. I guess I'll have to make a new leader. That's fine. But yeah, this has been pretty frustrating so far. Yeah, all the signs right now is kind of telling me that I should just freaking go home. But I want to at least do one more cast. Yeah, it, like the wind is blowing up all the sand in my eyes and stuff. This has not been fun at all. <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to look at the positive side of things right now. I'm at least out here. Small things keep happening that just 
is telling me that I should leave. I'm gonna move to a better spot, a more open spot, and I'm gonna cat see if I can catch like a catfish or something. There's gonna be a thunderstorm tonight, and so I think this is, all this wind is kind of the beginning of it. There might be high winds and lots of thunder and rain. So I'm gonna move over to where the, the boat launches and uh, it's gonna be more open over there. No trees like this. So I won't get snagged on anything. Wish me luck. I have zero expectations. I feel like I'm gonna get snagged on all the bushes down here too when I reel back in. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so last year, all I needed to do was cast out there and I was able to catch some catfish. All right, got it. The white bass and catfish are open right now. I can target them, but I do know that this area has lots and lots of carp. And I don't mind catching carp either. In fact, I want to carp, but it's nice to see that the river is nice and healthy now. Cause last year it was so like low. <laughs> At some parts of the river, when I was with Eric, his boat would drag against the, the bottom of the river on some sandbars because it was so low. Oh! There's some huge activity down here. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. So I lost my hook. I'm gonna throw on another hook. I'm gonna see what's down here, right by the boat launch. So I'm gonna give this another shot and if things go bad, I think I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm still gonna probably upload this video and just call it like fishing fails or something. So I saw that large splash right where the boat launch is, like right here. So I'm just gonna toss it here. All right, it's 4.53. I'm probably just gonna give it until five and then call it a day then. But yeah, earlier there was like this giant splash in the water. It was definitely some sort of larger fish. Couldn't have been any panfish. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up here. I'm gonna recast. All right, so I'm gonna cast right here at the mouth of the boat launch. There you go. See, I really like this mic because I get to sit here and talk and you can hear me clearly. I can be facing away, talk, I can have my own personal monologue, and then you guys can hear me. <laughs> yeah, but I've been complaining a lot in this video. I apologize for that. <laughs> like this was supposed to be a, a nice first day out fishing. Oh! I had some nibbles. There's fish out here, yes. All right, I might stay longer. Okay, I gotta reel back in. Ah, oh, see, I knew I'll get snagged in this crap. I had some nibbles though. Okay, we're good. All right, we've got some nibbles, so we've got some fish. Let's go, let's go. All right, I'm excited, I'm excited. I was too excited and I like tried to set the hooks too quickly and uh, I missed it. I should have let it like nibble at it a little longer. It could also be like really small fish too. Let's go right at the mouth of the boat launch here. I gotta text my buddy Eric. I told him that I was coming out to fish. We might get some action today. This video might not be a dud. <laughs> And those were like actual like nibbles too. Like definitely 100% of fish. It was definitely not like hitting up against rocks or anything. It was like authentic nibbles. Oh, there you go. It's five o'clock now. I was gonna go home at five. I can give it another 30 minutes. Oh, I'm feeling some rain. It might start raining. All right, I'm gonna reel back in and recast. All right, everything still looks good. And if I hadn't missed my first nibble earlier, I could have had a fish. If I was just a little bit more patient, if I had just waited a little bit longer, it may have caught on the treble hook. Would have had a fish already. <laughs> oh, I'm getting, I got nibbles. Damn. I missed it again. I'm getting actual nibbles right now. All right, so I might have to um, give it some more time and just let it keep nibbling at it. All right, we're gonna recast. So before the worm fell off just now, 
um, I did see that portion of it was already eaten. It might just be like really small fish. I, I, I'm not really sure. I might have to change the hook to be something smaller or just be a little bit more patient. But yeah, there's definitely fish down there. Just don't know what. All right. There you go. Let's go. There's something down there and I want to catch it. All right, so this time, if I start getting nibbles again, I'm just gonna let it keep going and see what ends up happening. Because if I keep letting it nibble and then all of a sudden the nibbling stops and when I reel back in and there's no bait left, it's likely that it's just a bunch of small fish. And then I probably would have to swap out my hook for something smaller. But I don't really wanna do that. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to get those second nibbles all right, it's 5.10. We'll give it like five minutes, maybe. Oh, I'm getting nibbles. Okay, had some nibbles and it just stopped. Oh, got them. I'm not sure if you can see them. Can you see the, the rod? I don't think the camera can see. Here, I'll go like this. Yeah, see, I'm not getting any more nibbles. All right, I'm gonna give it some more time. I don't know if there will be panfish in this area. All right, I think that's enough time. I'm gonna reel in. If the bait is still there, I'm gonna just recast. If the bait isn't there, it means that it's small fish. The bait is completely intact. Maybe the hook is too big. Yeah, this treble hook might be too big. Cast again and see. All right, so I reeled back in and the worm was still on the hook. It doesn't look like they're nibbling anymore. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna just call it a day. It's been somewhat fun coming out here. It's been nice to come out here, uh, but it's been a little bit frustrating with all the small things that's been happening. <laughs> but we should be getting some rain in the next three days or so. We're gonna have some thunderstorms and then hopefully it gets warmer in the next like two to three weeks or so. Uh, morels and ramps and a bunch of other wild edible plants are gonna start growing. I might check on some ramp in a couple of days maybe even. But yeah, this was just a quick video just of me coming out here. Uh, not <laughs> There's not a whole lot that happened, but um, it's just me documenting my experiences and if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. Please consider checking out some of my merch. I got my pin with me today, uh, my Spreadshop Ambassador pin. Uh, so yeah, check out my merch on my Spreadshop. I'll be rolling out with new designs shortly and a lot of the designs are going to be temporary. So just for a limited time and all the funds that I'm going to be earning from Spreadshop, including their sponsorship, is going to go towards uh, Raven's uh, surgery uh, in June. But yeah, I am just going to call it a day and head on out and I'll see you next time. Hopefully next time I'll be able to catch some fish and uh, get a fire going and, and cook it up and eat it or something. to go home and time to uh, give Raven her meds.